check. Yeah, we we're talking about. God damn, they canceled. Apparently, they, they canceled can Bojack because it was just too. It was too popular and it been on for so long that Netflix didn't think it was gonna bring in any more new viewers, so they needed to make room for new shows. Yeah. And that's just such bullshit, man. Yeah. Cause it's, yeah, cause the First off, like, what the fuck? Like, now a show is getting canceled for being too good? Are you shitting me? Like, yeah. Like, that, like, we were this good, and this is our reward. That's Netflix being too confident right there. They're getting cocky. But it's like, they have no competition either, aside oh, yeah. from Hulu. But, now, Hulu originals aren't on that level yet. Yeah, they're not. But, I mean, they keep playing around with, with what Netflix nah, that, 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 that that's... That one, like, that one won't come back to haunt them, but that attitude will. Yeah, now that attitude definitely will. And we were talking about that, too, about fucking um, the prison, how the prison scene with BoJack was going to be its own thing. And now, like, you could tell there was... They you still could tell had, they wanted to do more. And there yeah, was, like, a lot more to do. You could tell they had two more seasons left in the tank. And I was saying, like, you know, maybe season eight comes around. Bojack actually gets a somewhat happy ending because, you know, he was making strides in the right direction. Like, oh, yeah. even when even when they were, like, listing all the bad that he did, like, they one of the theory videos that I was watching where they were, like, when he went out on stage to um, be congratulated for the play with his students... The, like Diane and Princess Carolyn were looking at him yeah. as like um of new uh horse or whatever but he's so like he's like it sucks that he's he's still he can't just move on yeah. and be the new person that he is and he's still gotta take the L's of his past now I think the prison shit would have straightened him out I think that was like the last thing he needed for real yeah cause you could see he was functioning properly in jail like he had he had the structure that he needed but also like I think like you know throughout the series he been trying to get better but season 5 like after he strangles Gina that's when he actually starts making progress like yeah. any progress at all yeah and it's like yeah it's gonna be rocky and he fucked up the the college thing with Wesleyan, but like he was just gonna keep grinding. Like for the for the first time, he wasn't just gonna spiral, you know. Yeah, and I think that was one thing that always um, made it easy for shit to not really register to me on BoJack because, um, like how I was talking about how I'm gonna probably need to go back and rewatch it because I would be up to date on like all the shit that BoJack did. But, like, because he was always just so, op like, randomly optimistic and happy-go-lucky, like, that's how he would almost present himself to other people. Yeah. Like, you would see the start of the show, and it's just, like, he, he treating, he's treating it like a regular, like a sitcom or some shit. Yeah, I mean, that's what the show is. It's like a sitcom. It's, it's like a parody of a sitcom. Yeah. It wouldn't be until, like, the middle of the, the, middle of the episode that it would be, like, he would start acting like his regular self and it, you know you would see him like binge drinking shit but even when he would do that he would just be like let's do drugs and he's you know he's like super yeah. happy and shit. And like, but i mean that's how it be like people that do shit like that you don't know that they're hurting yeah. until you dig deep you know yeah like people that just be like living that fun happy go lucky like yeah let's just get fucked up all the time life yeah you know it's like you're running from something yeah Nah, and that's that's a re that's a that's a true reality. Nah, I mean we were in the perfect age for it because we were right in college. Yeah. And that's when like a lot of people be doing shit like that. Yeah. And you don't even know, honestly. Like, when you come as a freshman, you don't like you know you see like juniors and like sophomores, juniors, seniors. Some just getting fucked up all the time. You want to you just want to get fucked up all the time. So yeah. you see them and you're just like, oh that's so cool. Like they're so. They're so fucking chill, and they just all they do is get fucked up. That's so awesome, and then you just find out like, nah, they're just they got some problems, and they're working through them. Yeah. You just didn't know that because you didn't really know them. Yeah, I think the biggest thing to take from BoJack is like, you know, it's okay to have your um your issues and shit that's shit that you're um trying to deal with, but when it gets to a point where you're hurting others in the process. Yeah. It's like it, it, this. You can't. 
I mean, we, honestly, we, we would have cut him a break for even Sarah Lynn if he stopped then and there. If that was that was the turning point for him, for real. Wait, so was Sarah Lynn before the That was choking? season three. That was season three? That was the end of season three. Yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah, I was, he didn't even, like, that did not, like, stop him. I thought that was, see, because I was thinking that was, like, one of the last things, and that was one no. of the, damn, I did not know that, that shit was, was season three. That was another notch on the belt, bro. Like, Holy shit. Yeah, that, that's the reason what makes him so unforgivable. It's just like, bro, you, Bruh, you kept going, though, like. The 17 minutes was wild. Oh, my God. Because that was never something that was thrown. No, the they never, they never told us about that shit. God, that man waited 17 minutes to call the police, and they said that she was still alive when yeah. when he was when when she had. No, we knew it was bad. Like even at the end of season three, when it happened, but that was that was such a bombshell, bro. That was just damn. Nah, bro. I, I was like, and don't get me wrong, like I was salty that reporter was trying to like. You know, shit like, you know, because he was making a new life. So it was like. Yeah, she was trying. But when, yeah. when they revealed what it was, I was like, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, now I see. Like, I was like, all right, nah, nah, you're, you're good. Like, yeah, you and now, that. and that kind of, that, him doing that second report, that second oh, interview. Oh, no, nah, he got cocky. That was, yeah, that was like, that was some old Bojack shit. Like, yeah. he, got, he got real arrogant and he was like, nah, I can. They love me now. Let me fucking. Yeah. Nah, bro, had he done that first one and then fucked back, fucked off back to the college and left it? He'd be good. Yeah. He'd be chilling right now. Yeah. But that's not the Bojack we know. Yeah. Bro, I mean, it's that one, it's that one decision that took Princess Carolyn, Todd, and Diane out of his life easily. The like, second, the, doing the second. Yeah, interview? like, cause as you saw, they still would have fucked with him even like that late, even that far in. Yeah. They would have fucked with him. Um, but. Bojack, Bojack, Bojack. Nah, that's what, damn, like, they were, he really had some ride or dies, and he fucked that up so bad. Yeah. Yeah, nah, cause like, Princess Caroline, like, I know it's hard, unless you pay attention to her in the show, she was so fucking clutch, bro. like, she would be pulling shit out of her ass nah, for him would, to get she worked, she would really bro. be making, she would really be making magic happen. And he would just, like, keep fucking it up, bro. And yeah. And it's just like, I can't even fuck with you if you're just gonna do her like this. Like. Yeah. I mean, damn. I mean, a part of me really just wanted to sympathize with Bojack, especially because of his, like, pa- like you know, his, his yeah, childhood was shitty. His and, like, top, yeah, his parents and were he awful, too. drug him. issues and shit. Yeah. But it was just like, bro, at the end of the day, it's just you, bro. Like, and that, that's, that's the, that's... That's what I was saying about the lesson of like you, yeah. you you could you know everybody you could have your hardships and everything and that shit could be something that you're battling with every single day but like you know you got to you can't be hurting people in the process of trying to heal yourself or whatever you're trying to do to I mean he wasn't cope. even trying to heal himself for the longest but. Yeah but it's like he also didn't really know how to yeah. heal himself and he was just kind of going off of This is where I usually spark but i don't think it's a two-seater <laughs> we'll find we'll, we'll got, we got some others I mean, we can just keep walking in yeah so oh yeah we got the pen. we got the pen too I'm like, yeah yeah but yeah man fucking damn like uh no nah, like i said it just blew me because yeah he got so many chances it was like it wasn't just that like he fucked up once and then the world turned on him or some shit bro like he just kept doing it. Like, yeah. he, just, he just couldn't stop. Like He couldn't stop. Pure shit. Nah, now whenever I go back and watch the binge scene with Sarah Lynn, I just know it's that much sadder, bro. Yeah. Like. Because he had, he had done some, he had done a lot of binging scenes with, like, he did a binging scene with Diane. And he that did was, a binge with Sarah was, Lynn in the first season. And it didn't, yeah. And it was, like, he's done pretty harmless binging periods with other people. And you got, you didn't know what you, what this one was about to turn out to be. Yeah, no. Oh, at the time, bro. I mean, you knew he was spiraling, yeah. which sucked, and, and you s- knew he spiraled her, which sucked even harder. And like, the day was just getting wilder by the second. Now, nah, when they went to visit uh, Peanut Butter and Diane, yeah, and like you know, I, I was like, damn, the killers that be happening in life, bro. People who when they get OC fucked up, they really do just be working off subconscious. Yeah. 
That shit was crazy too. What he got so fucked up off that one, out the, uh, off that one person's house where she had like the the CDs or whatever of horsing around. Oh and yeah. And then he started driving back to his house, not remembering that other people live there now. Yeah. I was like, damn, he really just on autopilot right now. Oh, oh yeah, because he fucking that's where he almost drowned. Yeah. He not was, even in his own house. Bro, th- nah, that was fucked up too. How he just like he had called Diane and basically like forced her to. Be the saving grace. Oh for yeah, him. no, 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 no. That 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 was some next level. Nah, cause like I mean, just imagine like imagine getting that phone call from someone you really fuck with, but they hurt you. They've hurt you in the past, but someone you do fuck with genuinely. Yeah. Just calling you like, bruh, I'm about to, I'm about to fucking kill myself. Like if you don't if you don't call the fucking police, I'm just gonna do it. Yeah. Like bruh, just like imagine getting that at like. I kind of wish we got like the, AM, the actual um, conversation. Yeah, yeah I mean, or like the actual phone calls. Yeah, what the tone was like, but you know that shit wasn't good. Oh, you know that was some fucked shit. Yeah. Bruh. Nah, it's like seriously, bro. Like somebody you know that's hurting just calls you up at one in the morning. Like, bro, if you don't fucking act right now, I'm gonna fucking kill myself. Yeah. Like, what kind of shit is like? Regardless of what you're doing in your life at that moment, which you're like. That's that's an awful burden to put on somebody yeah. that you care about. Cause imagine if he did die off that, and yeah, now she, and she didn't now, save him. now she's got to live with that. Even though she's all the way in fucking Chicago, and like also even if she wasn't in Chicago, maybe her schedule was set that she doesn't maybe fucking wake up at one a.m. Yeah, maybe she was supposed to wake up at six a.m. in the morning, and she was asleep by then. Like, yeah. imagine waking up at six and then getting that voicemail. Like, what the fuck, bro? Like, are you? Like, yeah, holy nah, shit. That's, yeah, but, yeah. Nah, man. Bojack needed to get his... Uh, Wait, so, but Bojack went to rehab at one point, right? Yeah. So what... That's how he was chilling at the beginning of season six. Remember when he wouldn't, yeah. like, drink or anything? So he, it took, a, it took him season five to go to rehab? Yes. Uh, I, he took him strangling Gina to go to rehab. My, t- God, my timeline of Bojack is kind of, fu- uh, is kind of off. Like, I, I'll be forgetting like the timeline of shit because i definitely thought he had went to rehab a lot sooner and then started relapsing i think he bullshitted rehab early but his, his real rehab was like so the see, start of season six so beginning of season six was with the therapist yeah all okay. that shit yeah okay which by the way he did get the therapist oc drunk yeah yeah which like i i don't blame Bo well that was that was an accident because yeah, that he was had, genuine yeah and i'm happy he didn't relapse off that shit either because yeah. he shouldn't it did, like I'll give Bojack credit. It took him a lot to relapse in season six. It did. It took yeah, a shit ton to make it. Relapse. Yeah, it took it took a it took him a good amount. But damn man, I guess he's just gonna be rolling around with Vance Wagner for the rest of his life, bro. Always fucking up. Always asking for apologies. I don't know. He don't even really fuck with him either. I mean, that's the only person that will fuck with him. I, I feel like Bojack's, Bojack. See, Bojack's got enough charisma that he's gonna find people that that yeah. will fuck with him. Like even even the just like how long Diane and all of them stayed with him. Like, oh yeah. You know, if he was not Bojack, like if he if he wasn't Bojack and was fucking up to the same level as Bojack, like they would have left a lot sooner. Now you know what fucked me up kind of bad off season six when they uh, took away his die. And they showed, like, how old he was, bro. Yeah. I was like, bro, you was running around with kids. Like, <laughs> like that old. Because that's the thing. Like, he's, like, 50, 60? He's in his, like, late 50s, early 60s. Yeah. That's kind of what I always assumed he was. Like, at, yeah. the, at the very earliest, like, 40s. Yeah, I thought he was in his 40s. But I was just like, damn, dude. Like, you really... You've been running around with them kids and shit. But that also be the kill for peanut butter, too. He be dating. He He's not, like, that much younger than Bojack. And he be dating 20, like, early 20-year-olds. So. Yeah. But like I said, like, I'm cool with peanut... Like, obviously, it's not good to prey on young women like that. When you're, like, that old. And he should find somebody his own age. But I'm at least cool with peanut butter because he doesn't have that, like, self-hate for his life. Where, like, he's, like... He does the same shit all the time, yes. Yeah. But he, he just doesn't hate himself for it. Like, for him, it is what it is. 
Well, it's early 20s really preying on. I mean, it's not preying, but it's like you, you should probably date someone. Yeah, that's, to that's more... Like, I'm, I'm not saying like it's a... But like even, even even Mr. Peanut Butter, he, he kind of... I mean, it's not like he's a bad person either or anything. It kind of just like seems like that's where his mental capacity is at. Yeah, it, it kind of is. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. Nah, I mean, that's why he be having so many wives, or ex-wives and shit. But yeah. he does have a shit ton of ex-wives. Yeah. I remember I was watching a lot of theory videos where they were getting, they were giving Diane shit for how she responded to, um, when he had changed the living room to the, uh, yeah. remember she wanted, she wanted, uh, it to be like the, um, Beauty and the Beast living yeah, room or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. I kind of, I get her frustration, but obviously she shouldn't have taken it out on Mr. Peanut Butter. Yeah, like nah, that. she maxed for no. It wasn't like I, I I cut Diane a break, especially because of season six, because it really shows like how depressed she actually was. Yeah, and nah. how like much mental shit she was really going. Through. Yeah, and they they threw that compare. They there was videos where they would throw the comparison of like she she was like Bojack that was she was like the same level with uh, as depressed as Bojack, oh, but yeah. was like attempting to handle that shit in a healthy manner yeah basically i mean so but, it's like the, you wouldn't you her, she was way younger bojack was just a terrible influence for her bro like he she should never have been around him she he enabled all her worst tendencies yeah i mean i was happy when she met uh the dude in chicago bro. nah he was a solid guy he, he was so good for her yeah Well, what was the thing with his son where he was like, um, he has said... Uh, I think his son is in the with her for a little bit. The son was trying to say that he was going to leave her for his mom or whatever. Yeah. And then that just wasn't true. Nah, of course not. His son was just a salty little asshole. Yeah. Well, a little, he's a little kid. He, he's probably just salty his parents got divorced. Yeah. But, um, nah, I mean, she, they ended up having a solid enough relationship. I mean, they moved to Houston, so that's, that's cool, cool. Yeah. They, they broke the big news story on the fucking, um, on that whale's fucking factory that he's harvesting organs and shit. <laughs> which is pretty hilarious. Yeah. Todd reunited with his parents. That was awesome. He had a good relationship, too. With nah, Todd family. had an amazing, like, bro, people sleep on it. Todd had an amazing story arc throughout the show, bro, like, because, like, he's so fucking dumb. Like, people just, you know, he's just there, but, like. He developed. He found his sense of self, bro. He developed. Yeah, he became he, his own person. He he like mended all of his relationships. Yeah. But that's what I mean when Bojack was around kids. Like, Bojack was really hanging out like season one and two with people who weren't even like, like they hadn't even found who they were yet. Yeah. And he was he was in that same boat. Yeah. Well, yeah, man. It's also kind of irresponsible to to blame everything on Bojack. Oh yeah, no, like, I mean he wasn't the source of everyone's problem. He was like an amplifier for it. Yeah, or it was they they could they used them as an excuse to amplify their because he wasn't forcing them to do anything. Well, he did have sex with uh, Todd's like OC best friend. Who was that again? Remember, like um, the girl that wanted to date Todd, but he was like asexual, so you know he told her like. Um, the one that used to work with him, uh, she had like pink hair. I, I vaguely remember. Yeah, they were OC close and then Bo Bojack fucked her. Man. Bruh, that, that blew me so hard. I was like, Nah, I think, I think I do remember that, yeah. Bruh, Bojack, come on, dude. Like, at least try. Yeah. Have some morals, honey. Nah, I mean, I know like, you know what the crazy part is? The Penny shit hasn't even come out yet, for real. By the end of season six. Like, they, that, that story was just about to start, like, popping off. Because remember, her mom was trying to tell her not to break it. Yeah. And, like, she was like, no, I'm going to do it. So we didn't, like, nobody even knew that shit happened yet. Yeah. So, like, just wait. Just wait. You know. But I think, I think he would survive that one. He's already in jail anyway, you know. Why the fuck was he even going with them to prom in the, be in the first place? I forgot all about that. Uh, like, bro, if you rewatch that, you'll see. Like, I thought it wasn't that bad because what I thought happened was that she didn't have a date. So they kind of like, 
were like, hey, Bojack, why don't you take her? Yeah, they but were trying what, to make it like a celebrity or Yeah, thing. but what actually happened was that Bojack, like, volunteered himself, which makes it such a worse look. Yeah. Nah, but, like, remember he... He was trying to treat it like a sitcom. Yeah, remember at the end of um, season one when he just, like... No, the end of season... Like, near the end of season two where he peeled off because he was just, like, so done with everything and he went to live with Charlotte and shit and they were just cool in it. Dude. And, like, he lived there for, like, a month. So, like, they, he was on good terms with them and everything. And then um, he was just like, yeah, I'll go the prom and they were like i don't know if that's like a good idea dude you're like he was like no i'm, I'm a celebrity like it'll be cool and they're like okay and then he got them all drunk and shit left yeah. um the one bitch that had alcohol poisoning at the hospital came back and then like penny wanted to fuck and he was like nah but then he was just like eh he just left his door open yeah and like they didn't do anything, but he was he was definitely just gonna like if, if no one stopped him, he was just gonna do that. And it's mm. like, bro, Bojack, come on, bro. Yeah. You gotta be the adult here, dude. He do, but she got a whole some accountability too. I mean, the problem is she's like sixteen though. Like, she was, I think she was seven. Well, nah, cause she, she was in uh, that was like her prom, like her high school prom. So she's either sixteen, seventeen. She, you wanna be sixteen going to prom? You're like seventeen, eighteen. Either way, that's like a high schooler, and you're a fucking fifty-year-old man. Yeah, yeah, but it's yeah, but it's like it would be way different if he was pursuing her. As a, I mean, if he, if you didn't know like his inner machinations, it would look like that. To be honest with you, yeah, because he also wanted to fuck Charlotte for like the longest time. Yeah, yeah. So it was, and he did. Remember, he did try to fuck fuck Charlotte on the last night. Yeah, and, and she, she was, was like, like, "Nah, you gotta go." Bruh, yeah, get the fuck. So, like, when Charlotte catches him in the room with Penny, she's thinking, like, oh, he just went for the next best thing, bro. Uh, like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that... I mean, that while that is a misunderstanding in some sense, it is just, like, Bojack, you should never have put yourself in that. Nah, life. yeah, he should have been the adult. He should have been the adult. I mean, I feel... I already feel bad kind of for her for like damn this nigga really tried to re-show up in it you know like you know how people talk about fuck boys and like they're more interested in their girl after she leaves them than when he had them and, yeah. and they're toxic that was the most toxic shit to fuck up uh charlotte's situation like, like she had a family and everything yeah he really just wanted to come in and ruin that shit he homework knew f- and he knew them that's a kill he fucking he lived a month with them, yeah. and he didn't have the respect to just be like, "All right, they're they're cool, they're living their own lives, they have good shit going on." Yeah. Let me like not fuck this up, nah. He put himself in that shit. Yeah. He just wanted that so badly, but. Yeah. Damn. Nah, I mean, but he's not. He's not everybody's. It. Like Diane. Diane had a lot of issues, bro. Like, w- without Bojack, she did. And, um, yeah. Nah, I-, I loved Bojack from the start because I was a huge Dario fan when, I when like, I was a preteen and teenager. I watched a shit ton of Dario. So when I first saw Bojack, I, like, immediately saw it. I was like, oh, Diane's, like, Asian Dario. So, like, okay. And then towards the end, when they're, like, Damn, this whole time I thought I was Daria when I was actually Jane Lane. That like that shit fucking hit me like a truck, bro. <laughs> like I don't know if you've seen Daria. Nah, I haven't. But seen. you know, um, King of the Hill and Beavis and Butthead. Yeah. Daria is the show that like is in the middle of those two shows. So like, um, Mike Mike Judge, he. Wait, is Daria the one with the, the girl with the glasses? Yeah, the girl with the glasses with the green, oh, okay. like, sweater. Yeah. I watched She the got sh- the red hair? Uh, yeah, yeah, like, you know, dark red. Yeah. yeah I watched I've, a I've, shit ton of that. But nah, it was... I fuck with it because Dario, she was just so fucking miserable, bro. Like, she had a good life and shit, but she... She was so sarcastic and sardonic. I thought she was, like, above it all when I was a kid. Like, I was like, ah, oh, she's not falling for this, like, happy life bullshit. She's just, like, doing her own thing. But you come to find out later in the show that she's, like, 
she's kind of going through it. Yeah. And, like, she's kind of like a pit of... Like, she's not as bad as anyone in BoJack or anything like that. But she's kind of a pit of sadness onto herself. And she hasn't found herself out yet and shit like that. But Jane Lane was her bro. And, like, Jane just stuck with her through everything. Even though Dario tried to fuck her boyfriend. But, um... <laughs> You know, Jane Jane was an A one day one, which was awesome. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like the problem with Jane was she was so cool making up for and like making excuses for Daria that like you know, she'd be neglecting herself sometimes and, and that's what she meant. Like she's like, I'm I'm not Daria. I'm not like the the pit of darkness that sucks everyone in. It's Bojack's the Daria. She was the one that was riding with it, and she could leave at any time. Yeah. And that's what it took, man. When she when she left that sphere, even when she went to Chicago, she she got so much better. Yeah. And it was great, man. But I mean, one lesson I definitely learned from BoJack was just bring your own happiness to the table. Yeah. You gotta you gotta bring. You can't let anyone fulfill that for you. You have to. You like, gotta find it in yourself. Yeah. You keep, like... Because I remember when um, Diane went on the mission shit, like, across the world with that uh, one adventurer dude, and they were just helping people, and she was like, yeah, I'm just not even happy doing this shit. Like, it doesn't it doesn't fulfill me like I thought it would. Yeah, but she was trying. She was trying to find that thing. Yeah, it, it was, I give her credit for it. And that's all, a lot of it, that's a lot of it, too, trial and error. You gotta yeah. figure out what works. You know, it's like... I mean, the only reason it fucked her is because she was so devastated that she wasn't... She didn't think she was that good of a person since so she didn't actually want to do that shit. And it was like, nah, this doesn't make you a bad person. It's just genuinely not what you want to do. Like, and that's okay. Like, yeah. you can help in other ways. And she did. So it's just like, like, the, they just got, like, her and Bojack, every time they fucked up, they just got so down on themselves that, like, they fucked up more. Yeah. And they just kept fucking up so much more. Yeah, but Bojack, dude, Bojack's just one of those shows, bro, like, you will not, you are not gonna see, like, another one of those motherfuckers for a long time. Yeah, no, nah, that's, that's a good-ass show. And, like, bro, the, the creative storytelling, like, when they use the therapist to tell one of the episodes, or the Princess Caroline, like, future kid telling about her ancestor, Princess Caroline, shit like that, like... They were so creative with it, like... Yeah. Oh, and, and, bruh, every drug or, like, hallucination scene was, like, so fucking brutal, bruh. Yeah. That shit was so, like... Yeah. I mean, I really wish I could just tell people you can skip the first season and just, like, jump in season two. Nah, but you gotta... But you yeah. need that context, bro. You need yeah, it. Yeah, you need the context of every season. Yeah, you need and every it's, season. It's definitely worth the payout. Oh, my God. The payout's worth it. Nah, it's one of those rare shows that just keep getting, like, exponentially better. Yeah. Like, each season is yeah. way better than the last. Like, that, that's that's one of those shows that deserves a cult following, and oh, you yeah. understand why it exists. Now, even if you don't, like, prefer it, you know why it's good. Yeah, like, you know why it's good. And, 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 like, all the episodes are, like, easily watchable, too. Like, it's such a bingeable show. You don't even notice it until, it's ma- until like, you, you get that one episode in the season that smacks you in the fucking yeah. face, bro. And then season six was just, like, all episodes like that. Like, every episode was just one of those fucking heavyweight episodes yeah no i'm gonna definitely need to do a rerun of the, of the shows and just pick up new shit that i didn't get the first oh, time yeah. around because a lot of easter eggs a lot yeah of there's shit. there's a lot of that shit too you could tell that show's built like you could get something out of every watch oh yeah no nah, you know that you know bro like we were talking about in like music you have to care to make it good bro they I don't even they want to ca- say that they cared because it was something extra than that, bro. This was their nah, fucking that, mission. That was like, yeah, that was a mission and that was like a child to them. Yeah. Bro, that was a fucking, like... Like, you don't think that voice actor really met, didn't method act into into what oh Bojack was supposed God. to be? Oh, my fucking goodness. The writers were on something else. Bro, they were... 
I, no, the fact, bruh, they could have sabotaged the show when they found out they were getting canceled, too, and nobody would have blamed them for that shit. But nah, they, 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 they couldn't. They couldn't do it. They had to go out on their, on, on a high note. Bruh, they love their creation too much, bruh. And low-key, that se- second half of season six is probably my favorite part of the oh. entire series. Oh, bruh. If you want to get into that specifically, bruh, the, the, the dinner party shit... That was crazy. That I was saying that that was probably that was one of their best episodes Bruh. of all time. That might be one of the best animated episodes of all time. Yeah, that's straight up. Because there was just, there was just like so many gems in the dialogue, like how they were talking about how um, a lot of people only do good deeds because it makes them feel good, and that's selfish. Yeah, man. And there was, yeah, there was a lot of shit like that. And nah, bro. They were trying to they were trying to guilt um. What's his name from season one? Because he was saying that if the um, he was gonna kill himself if like the Jets had a bad season, but then he was just gonna switch to baseball if they ended up or the Knicks, but he was just gonna switch to, to baseball, and they were like, "Bro, did you even want to kill yourself?" Yeah. Because he yeah, just yeah. kept, but it was like, they were just shitting on him, bro. And each meal was like what they what was the last thing that they had before they died. <laughs> yeah. And then Bojack t- drink his water, and that shit was chlorine. Nah, bro. The poem for um, butterscotch, bro. Yeah, this is like where the McDonald's and shit is. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. The poem for butterscotch, um, slash uh, secretariat. When they're talking about how secretariat jumped off the fucking um bridge for over like uh, yeah, falling. Yeah, yeah. That shit was so dark, bro. Cause he was he was so proud of that shit at the beginning, and then he was reading his monologue, and he was like, "Fuck, fuck, fuck." fuck, I was, fuck. I want to go back. And that's how they all... Like, I remember I watched this video of this guy that survived one of those fallings and how the instant regret that he felt the minute he left the bridge. Yeah, bro. I mean, you feel... Like, I'm sure in the moment it feels like you need to do this. But, damn. Bro. Yeah. Like, fuck. Nah, I am sure, like... And it wasn't even like he just got up and brushed that shit off. Like, I'm... I think they. I think he said he broke damn near every bone in his body when he landed in the water. Yeah, man. And then he had to instantly get saved and shit. Nah, people think you can just fall in water and be good, bro. No, <laughs> jump from that high of a height, and, and like any any anything you land on is gonna fuck you up bad. Even if you land like this, isn't that how they tell you to land? Uh, I mean, obviously, like obviously that, that dude didn't fucking do any of that. Yeah. So like. You know, I mean, there are ways to dive and dive off high points, but there are limits to that, too. Yeah. <laughs> like, a, just skydive off of, and just, yeah. just stay in this position like shit. <laughs> and, uh... Nah, I mean, like, and another thing is, the human eye, we're good with, because we have two eyes, we're good with that perception, but we're not, like, great. So, have you ever been on a big-ass bridge? It doesn't actually look, especially because of the way the bridge looks, it doesn't look like it's that high off of the water, but it is. It's, like, it's to an incalculable level. Yeah. You can't really tell the difference, like, after a certain point, so, yeah. Were you who I was talking about doing, um, skydiving with? Oh, yeah, I do that. Yeah. Nah, yeah, we gotta start writing that shit down too. I wrote. I nah, wrote, like the kayaking in Great Falls looks fun as fuck. Yeah, bro. that looks fun. Nah, we gotta do that shit. Play night on all 